Hello. In the Gospel according to John, Jesus says to his disciple, I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I love you, you should love one another. And at first sight, it's hard to be against this great principle. It's, some would say, common sense. Uh, who would be against this? It's like, I don't know, you have a, a poll and you are been asked, are you for or against family? Of course you're for, you know, that's, that's a no-brainer. Who, who's against these kind of things? Do you want love or hatred? Well, we want love. And we, we, we say it's common sense because it's easy to love our friends, our family, people with whom we agree on politics, on values, uh, on many different things. But it might be a little more difficult when it comes to people from a different culture people who have different values than us, people we might even consider our enemies. And that's the question that often we've been asked. How can we love someone who commits a murder? How can we love someone who neglects children, a terrorist, someone filled with racism or homophobia? And it is at those moments we realize that Jesus' commandment is difficult. It's not easy. And yet Jesus seems to make this principle as the benchmark of discipleship. It's not about the knowledge of the Bible, Scripture, passage. It's not about if we attend church on Sunday morning or how much do we give to a local congregation or not even if we're baptized or not. Jesus said, by this, everyone will know that you are my disciple if you have love for one another. Like I said, discipleship is never easy. All of those who try to sell this, that, oh, it's a walk in the park, no. It, but as difficult and challenging it might look like, that might be what is required to create a better world. Because since the beginning of Christianity, people look at Jesus' followers and... and They've said, oh, those folks are crazy. They're, they're helping people that they should not. What's wrong with them? Yeah, that's what we try to do. It does not mean that we approve or condemn certain acts, certain mistakes or crimes. But it means that we do not necessarily write them off. We do not necessarily reject them or give up on them. As Jesus is, has been and still the risen Christ, still always ready to love and forgive us, the invitation is to do the same, to imitate Jesus and follow this way, to do the same. Even when it's difficult, I might say especially when it's difficult to do so. This path that Jesus invites us to follow is not easy, like I said, but it's essential. Because if we want to build a world with more love and hatred, with people coming together instead of being divided, this new realm, new kingdom, new kingdom that Jesus announced, that's what it takes. And that's what we are invited to do. And when we fail, to try again 
and again and again and over again until we finally get it right. Once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for being there. I remain the lectionary man, Reverend Stéphane Vermette. And until next time, take care of yourself. And bye-bye.